This is why in the court of law, why Nigeria and the Nnamdekanu case was lingering and going the way it's going. Because of the instruments in the law that has been proven by the lawyers that were hired by Master Nnamdekanu and the co to now defend himself right in the court of law. They were using what's called the instruments of law. The instruments of law are the things they are using to now hold Nigerian government on the truth like this. Now the government has so many things they want to use against him, but the instrument of law is not allowing them to use anything because when they bring it, they go to succession, so, 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 and bring some instrument from the ICC, International Court of uh, Justice, and everything, they bring everything, put together, all the law instrument, internationally and locally, to now hold them ransom. So in our activation of our spirit man, we need all the spiritual instruments, which one of them to now continue to conquer the evil days is truth. If you don't have the truth in your mouth, you go nowhere. You will deceive yourself and also deceive everything around you. Even when the Holy Ghost is trying to help you, you will deceive yourself and the Holy Spirit will back off. Any man that lacks truth in his mouth, you tell lies today, tomorrow, you will tell lies again. Next tomorrow, you tell lies again. In five years to come, the first lie you told, you may have forgotten them. But if you are with the instrument of truth, every day they ask you, uh -huh, what did you say happened? Uh, when I was going outside there, my leg kicked the bottle and it broke. Oh, sorry. So, you the one that broke the bottle, yes. Uh, tomorrow, ah, uh, uh, brother, come. That, what happened? Uh, yes, when I was going out, my leg kicked the bottle and it broke. The same word, the same way, the same instrument, the same instrument. Every time and every day. The people question us. Uh, he says he's the one that broke it. What do we do? Let's find a way to replace it. Let's find a way to cover. But they come out. Ah, uh, when I was going out, I seen Kechi. He was passing there and the money waved to Kechi. And when they were going and Uncho uh, carried the base and go up. And when he was climbing the tree, he come down at the middle of the coming down. He now said, <whistles> as he was going, he entered the room. When he entered, he hit the drum, boom, and he go outside. But I don't know what happened. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. Next week, uh, what did you say happened? Uh, what happened? What? Who? What happened? Would you say happened that day? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I remember. Uh -huh. uh, I was coming out. It was, uh, I think it's John. In show don't come out there. I think it's, uh, 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 no. A blessing. Uh, what of harmony? You don't come out there. You will not know what you say yesterday when you want to repeat it again. And if you try to hold it, one day the truth will burst out of your head. That's what the Bible says. You shall know the truth and the truth will do what? Set you free. That is why the Bible says we should guide our leons with the truth. If you lack the truth, you go nowhere. In the course of the ministry, prophetic ministry today, many people will go one place or the other, try to bring, learn some manipulations and they will come and gather thousands of people, manipulate them. After manipulating them, when the wind blew, storm arose and everything happened then something will open and everything they try to gather building on the sandy soil will collapse one day and that will be the end but when you stand on the truth you tell them that Jesus is Lord God is the only one that can do this for you they will say ah you are wasting our time they will go when they go finish they will still come back next year they will still come back Three years time they will come back and when they come back they see that the truth has progressed the truth keep on progressing the truth keep on going the truth keep on marching forward the truth never one day get tired because it's the truth bury him today on the third day the truth will rise again that's what the bible says take the instrument call the instrument of truth if you lack it in your mouth i am sorry for you you need help then secondly, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness is part of what we are talking about. If you without righteousness, no eye shall see the Lord. 
Righteousness and holiness. Blessed are the righteous. Blessed are the holy. Blessed are the children of God. You must also walk in righteousness. What is righteousness? Pure heart before God. When your heart is accumulated, every time it is what you will do to pull, what you will do to destroy, negative thought, you will not even know when the negative thought has eluded you. So righteousness has to be the bread place that the Bible talk about. Bread, bread place of righteousness. And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The gospel we preach today, why the Christ, the preaching of the church, and the church message, and the kingdom of God is expanding and taking the world by storm. It's because it's called the gospel of peace. Not they want to slaughter people. Not they want to force people and kill them. It is the one to continue to preach the good tidings of the Lord, the loving kindness of God, and how God is welcoming the world. Not the gospel of violence. Not the gospel of air. Touch me, I kill you. If you near me, I shoot you. If you don't agree, we deal with you. No. The gospel is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not eh, perish but have what? Everlasting life. Gospel of peace. That's why the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemaker for they shall be called the sons of God. So we continue with the gospel of peace. Preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith where which ye shall be able to withstand, to quench all the fairy dart of the wicked. <laughs> hallelujah. I said hallelujah. One of the strongest instruments in our activation of the spirit man is faith. <laughs> I was talking with somebody yesterday. I said the house of God and everything that happened here is the work of faith. Because I know that before people will do something, they must have strong capital in their hand. You see somebody come out and say, hey, how much are they selling this motor? The person must have been, if the person must buy a car, and they say, I must buy a car, and he's ready to buy a car. If he come to where they are selling, he must have some level of money. Will not just come empty handedly and begin to say, I want to buy limousine, or I want to buy a Prado Jeep, or I want to buy Homer Jeep, or I want to buy. You cannot do that. It is, it, it is, it is disgrace. It is only few people can say, Let me go and find out the price of a car when they are not having shishi in their pocket. Hallelujah. But I told you here in the course of administration, I said, I have seen a man. I don't have an amount to buy a car. What was he having? Only 50,000. And uh, after prayer and everything, he said, today I must buy a Corolla vehicle. And after prayer, he put the money, complete 50,000 in his pocket, and went to where they are selling car. Dressed very well. Went to where they were selling car. I said, today I must buy a car. And that day, somebody is already pressed with 50,000 naira. You know, one thing about faith is that when you are following God with what is called unshakable faith, the step of faith that you take makes it happen to activate things that will prove to you that that faith you are taking is real. Faith is more real than the physical world. You are so good, oh. you are so good in my life, oh. you are so good in my life, you are so good in my life, I find no man that you want my boy, you are so good in my life, oh, 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 oh,
seated. This is the time to praise our God and give you what you deserve. You are so good in my life, oh Lord. You are wonderful, Jehovah. You are so good in my life, oh Lord. To go, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 